Howdy, AdWords fans. Welcome back to this exciting chapter called Keyword Organization. And as promised, we pick up right where we left off in Microsoft Excel. It's important to start really understanding the concept of keyword themes in this stage. What we're looking to do in this stage is develop thematically related groups of keywords. Once again, thematically related groups of keywords. Um, what is a theme and why is it important to have groups of themes? A theme is best described in, in, my, in my way of thinking about it as, as a basic identifiable element of your product or service. It might be an adjective, it might be um, an attribute, it might be a color, uh, it might be the brand. It, it's gonna differ based on industry, um, but it's gonna represent some basic identifiable um, aspect or element of your products or service. Um, so we'll call, we'll call it a theme, um, and a definition is a basic identifiable element. We'll start getting a much better sense of how themes operate. <clears throat> once we um, actually begin developing these themes. And you might be also wondering why we're jumping to themes when we spend so much time talking about buyer funnel for bids. Um, what is the connection between those two things? The first main step in organizing our keywords is this concept of creating themes, okay? So themes is really the first stage. The reason we create themes is essentially for what we call relevancy. Relevancy is the reason we make themes, and there's two different types of rele relevancy. You have um, relevancy for the human, and you have relevancy for Google. And they're both extremely important, they both make a big difference in the success of your campaigns. Relevancy for human, for the human beings, who the actual customers, uh, people seeing your ads, we wanna create ad copy that appeals to them. We want to show them that we're specifically answering the question that they asked. We're providing them with the information. And if we create tightly knit groups, um, thematically related groups of keywords, we'll be able to create ad copy focused around the specific queries that person was asking. And then we'll be able to see a higher click-through rate as the ad is more appealing to the actual person. In the eyes of Google, um, Google's algorithms want to see that our ads are very relevant. And we're going to talk a lot more about relevance when we talk about the quality score chapter. Um, but just as an overview, the more relevant the text in your ad is to the person, to the, to the query the customer typed in, the better our ad rank is going to be, the higher our quality score is going to be, and the lower our cost per click is going to be. So our campaigns will perform much better um, once we do that. So that's the idea of themes. The second main category is kind of circling us back to what we covered, um, which is the buyer funnel. So we also want to then take a look at our keywords once we've created our themes and look at the buyer funnel. Now, why do we want to look at the buyer funnel? That is related to bid management, okay? Bid and budget. The buyer funnel is going to help us understand and help us determine how much we should bid on specific keywords. That's what the buyer funnel um, psyche of each keyword represents. And then the third factor, which we also spoke about, um, but we'll speak more about, is organizing our match types, okay? And the reason we want to organize our match types is for control. So there's three main categories um, in these stages of keyword development. Coming up with the keyword themes, um, understanding the buyer funnel that each keyword represents, and then controlling with match types. And once again, the reason we want to understand the buyer funnel is for bid and budget, and the reason we, why we want to develop keyword themes is for relevancy. So that's, that's the idea behind um, developing this strategy when it comes to keywords. But we need to start coming up with our actual themes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our keywords and we can start thinking about what themes might be. So I start off by looking at um, what are some identifiable traits in my keywords. 
And I know that these keywords are all sort of um, pretty direct searches. We're looking for people who are who are specifically searching for our products. As we have, um, you know, we have keywords in here like office chairs, desk chairs. Um, most of the things we have are centered around chairs. So I want to further break out these chair, computer chair, desk chair related keywords with um, identifiable traits, and start thinking about ideas that I could use in my ad copy. So for example. So I think in this column we could have, uh, let's say we put up our themes in this column C. Okay, so for this keyword, I think uh, quality, the word quality, it would be, a, um, would be an, an excellent example of, you know, what one of our themes would be. So let's say we have the word quality here. Now that's not to say that we'll for sure have an ad group. Um, based around the word quality, but these are just some ideas. Um, office leather chairs. In my mind, the theme behind this keyword is leather. Desk chairs on wheels. The theme here is wheels. And so on and so forth. Rolling. Um, executive. Um, furniture. home. So you're, we're starting to get a sense of some of the most identifiable character traits in these keywords. And we, we can go down this entire list um, and continue to develop this um, list of themes. Ergonomic is a good idea. Uh, computer is a good idea. And what we would generally want to do is we would want to make sure that there's enough search volume um, for each of our themes that we develop. Uh, comfortable to be a theme, and and another thing that you think that, that it's it's important to to keep in mind is the theme that we're going to break down our ad groups by is not necessarily the first, last, or middle word. It could be any word in the keywords that we've developed so far in our initial research stage. Um, so we have uh, different ideas for themes, and and what I've done is I've I've actually already created another sheet down here called themes, where I um, put together nineteen. Uh, 18 rather different themes that I think would be um, really good. And then I want to talk about mixing keywords. So once I decided that I have my my themes, and these are themes that I'd like to cater to specifically in ad text, what that means is I want to have an ad group that just talks about the feature rolling. I want to have an ad group that talks about modern, colorful. These are people who are who are identifying what they want in their query. They're identifying something specific. They're identifying something about their personality. So it's this person who types in colorful desk chair, it, he, he's giving us so much valuable information. So how great would it be if our ad could talk about how we have colorful desk chairs? The person who's looking for executive desk chairs, if we add that keyword, if we add executive desk chairs in the same ad group as we have colorful desk chairs, then we don't have the ability to cater individually to each of those people, because remember, there's only one group of ads for every group of keywords in an ad group. So whatever keywords, whichever keywords I have in one ad group, there's only one group of ads that will rotate for, for that list of keywords. So for example, if I had executive desk chair in my ad group along with um, comfortable desk chair or colorful desk chair or modern desk chair, my ad text would have to be more generic. It would have to be either I would either have to choose which one of those themes I want to focus on in the ad text or just be more we sell all types of office chairs. And neither one of those ways is ideal. We want to be able to talk to the specific needs and desires of our customer. And these themes allow us to do that. So we have leather, cool computer, conference, comfortable, home, cute, armless, heavy duty, reclining, mesh, ergonomic, and padded. These were the ideas that I wanted. Then I create a column called type. And we want to start mixing um, all the, finding all the different variations of our themes. So somebody might type in rolling chair, um, or somebody might type in rolling office chair, or rolling office seating. And if we see here, we have further modifiers and attributes. These could be, these could be further breakdowns um, based on type, um, or it could be further um, breakdowns of, of different types of modifiers and attributes like color um, or size or things like that. And actually this is, I'd like to change this to, this should be desk, not chair. And these are, these gives us, give, this starts giving us an idea of all the variations. So 
What I'm seeing here is we want to have four keywords for every theme. So I want to have rolling desk chair, rolling desk seating, rolling office chair, and rolling office seating, right? I want to have all four of those matched up because those are all four variations of what a person might type in. Same thing goes with modern. I want to have modern desk chair, modern desk seating, modern office chair, and modern office seating. So these are all variations. So for each one of these four, each one of these 19 categories, I want to have um, four variations of keywords. And there are tools online that allow us to do that um, faster than doing it by hand. And you could actually do it in Excel with certain formulas. And it's good to, when, when we're going to start building out bigger campaigns, we definitely want to use those tools. Um, this is, wasn't so huge that we couldn't do it by hand. And I actually also to save some time and to make it easier for you guys, I created a third sheet that has all the variations of keywords and I also started including match types. And to go back and talk about match types, when I have my variations of these keywords, for example, rolling desk chair and rolling desk seating, I want to have a phrase match version and an exact match version and a broad match modified version. Because I want to start really being able to capture and bid um, appropriately by having all the different match types in there. So for example, um, rolling desk chair as a broad match modified term, I might be able to still show up on if somebody types in um, chairs for desk that are rolling. That would be a really good keyword that I would, I would miss out on if it was phrase match and you know why because we know how broad match modified works. I want to have rolling desk chair as a phrase match because I'd like to show up if somebody types in rolling desk chairs for sale online. I want to have it as an exact match because if somebody types in just rolling desk chair, I want to be able to um, bid maybe a little bit more aggressively. So I want to have all three of those match types and I, for now I want to leave out broad match. So not only do we have four, we really going to have 12 variations, 12 actual keywords per ad group because we're going to have it duplicated with a different match type and a different bid. So I started creating um, this sheet and I'll show you how it looks. And this is something that you should definitely try to duplicate and do yourself in your own um, Excel or uh, Google Sheets. This is Google Sheets will work perfectly for this. So if we go here to the top, we have a column A is my ad group. So as you can see here, one to 13 or two to 13 is the first ad group rolling. And we have an iteration of rolling office chair. And then we have two of what seem to be identical, but I wrote over here in keyword type, I wrote phrase and exact. Now, we know that phrase is surrounded by parentheses and exact is surrounded by brackets. And I want to be able to upload and copy and paste all this information into AdWords the right way without having to go in and um, change my match types manually, which I could do and I'm going to show you how to do that later. And I also don't want to have to, the way I, the way I created these variations, rolling office chair three times, is I simply um, just copy and pasted it down. And I, add, I went ahead and I added the plus signs already um, just to save time for the broad match modified version. It says broad, but the plus sign um, indicates that it's a modified term. I adding the plus sign in between b before each term. And remember to always leave a space. So it's plus rolling without a space. And then the next word should have a space before it, and then the plus sign for the broad match modified. But here I have phrase match and so here I have um, phrase match and exact match and once again roll, rolling off a seating a phrase and exact but I don't have the brackets and parentheses so how do I quickly get that how do I click quickly get parentheses and brackets around um, cells in Excel and I'm going to show you a really cool um, exciting trick the first thing I want to do is my phrase match so I'm going to select my entire worksheet and I'm going to go ahead and click filter under data. You, Make sure you're on the data tab. You might be on formulas or page layout, but go to data and select filter. This allows us to start filtering our results by um, different parameters. So I'm going to go ahead on this keyword type column and I'm going to only want to see my phrase match keywords. So I'm going to deselect everything other than phrase match and click out of this. So now my view is all my phrase match variations um, across my ad groups. And I can see here that there is a total of 73 keywords. Um, down here is count, 73. So I have, well, 72 because we have the keyword is the first column. So 73. And I want to get parentheses around all these 73 terms. Now, once I've filtered my keywords by phrase match, there is a really cool trick that will allow us to add parentheses around all of these keywords. And the way we do that is as follows. We highlight column B. Um, the entire column, we right click and we 
select insert. And that's going to insert a column to the left of column B. It's going to be a blank column. Um, so we could just name this column. We don't have to name it, but you know, we could name it um, formatted 